Hello, officer. We can be civilized, right? Amicably co-work? Of course. OK. So let's start amicably co-working. What's your problem? Nothing. I guess I just thought I'd prove I have investigative abilities beyond that of the front desk. I agree. Your abilities aren't suited for this assignment. Thank you, Chloe. You know, because the skill of running reception is to be understanding, open, welcoming. So I agree. Not your thing. You guys got a phone I could borrow? Oh, uh, yeah. Pay phone in the corner. The thing is, I don't have any change. Can I please use your phone? No, I'm sorry. I got to keep the lines open for police use. My girlfriend has asthma, OK? And she doesn't have AC. I just need to know she's OK. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. A little empathy would be nice, especially since you're the one with asthma. Come to think of it, I haven't seen your inhaler out in a while. Puffers. Not cute at all. Bree sticks to a schedule. She's precise, punctual, totally reliable. Okay, buddy, you gotta relax. Don't you know the stagnant air of a heat wave exacerbates the dangers of conditions like asthma? Yes, actually, I do know that. A thousand deaths a year due to excessive temperatures. Sorry, did you guys have a fight or something? No, we don't fight. We have differences of opinion, but we never ever fight. Really? See, that sounds pretty good to me. Almost like a perfect relationship. Oh, really? What about ebbs and flows? You know, conflict resolution and compromise? I don't know. What about giving somebody time and space to process? Uh, look, I, I don't understand what you guys are talking about. Can you please send an officer over just to check on her? Uh, actually, you know what? It is my lunch hour, and I would be happy to take you down there myself. OK? Why can't we open the door and check on her? Because you don't live there, Tom. We thought that you two lived together. Oh, we like to give each other space to breathe. That's a wise move. Set boundaries. Our relationship celebrates our individuality. It doesn't consume it. Uh, we always say to each other, Is that her? Tom? Excuse me. Hi. Are you Bree? Yeah. Something going on? Uh, false alarm. Wait, wait. You're the guy from Two Doors Down. What's your name again? Tom. Right. Tom. Is everything OK? Yes, yeah. Uh, Tom here was just concerned about some of the residents in the building. That's really sweet. I was just visiting my parents. OK. Have a nice day. Thank you for your time. It's fine. It's nice to see you again, Tom. So the brain will create love even when we don't have it, right? What's your point? Nothing, except for the fact that your idea of a perfect relationship is nothing but a delusional fantasy. Come on, it's funny. Okay, what's up, Dove? You don't talk to me for months, and now you want to be my friend? Actually, no, I don't. No, you don't. Not anymore. Okay, so why don't you do yourself a favor and just get mad at me already? Yell at me. Get it out. No. No glaring. No huffing. Get mad at me. Don't help me. You deserve it. No, I don't deserve it. I didn't do anything. Our entire relationship was an affair. I couldn't even get mad about it because you got shot and you almost died. Good, keep going. And then you, then, then you do this, this happy-go-lucky Chloe thing. Oh, oh, and you get away with, with lying and being married and kissing Wes and doing whatever you want because, oh, I'm Chloe. I'm so bubbly. I'm a free spirit. Yes, I'm mad that you were married to somebody else, and I hate that I'll never be married to you first. 